Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. So today I want to give you a quick tip on how to make your playing sound a little bit more professional. And that is going to be in the way of slurred bowing. So just so you know that this is take this information is taken from this book here, Violin Book 2, and more specifically, lesson. 18 on page 36. If you want to know a little bit more about this course and a little bit more about slurred bowing and things, then I will put links in the description bar underneath as where you can purchase this. But this is from my 1 to 30 violin course. So as part of this on lesson 18, we talk about slurred bowing. Now it might seem very trivial, um, you know, slurred bowing, meh, who cares? But slurred bowing is going to make the difference between making your music sound a lot more professional and your music sound a lot more amateur -y or a lot more beginner. So this isn't something that I would encourage beginners to necessarily do because there are lots of things that beginners need to learn before they move on to slurred bowing. But obviously when you're up to lesson 18, you will be ready for the slurred bowing. So I'm just gonna get on with it and play you an example. This is Barker Roll from Tales of Hoffman by J. Offenbach. And this is a, this is in the book as well, page 34. This is a classic example of playing something in slurred bows and you will hear the difference between the slurred bows or you'll hear what the difference makes between me playing the slurred bows and me playing separate bows. It makes all of the difference. So first of all, I'm gonna play it without slurred bows. Okay, so that's just the first page of that. Now, I'm gonna play it with slurred bows and you'll hear the difference. Okay, so the difference being is that it's just gonna sound a lot more cohesive, it's gonna sound a lot more fluid, and it's gonna sound a lot more put together as well. This is the kind of piece that really does need to be slurred anyway, but when you slur bows, you everything just comes together a little bit more and everything plays a lot easier. So some of you, the cynicals in you, may say that the second time I played it, I probably just played it a little bit better anyway but that's not necessarily true i still played it with vibrato the first time when i played it separate bows as well but the difference being is that it's physically harder to play so yes of course i absolutely did play it better the second time the reason is is because it flowed better so the violin uh, this piece of music was made for the violin to be slurred when you kind of when you're trying to make me play something that's not quite as natural it's not going to sound as good it's like trying to force someone down a route that they're not you know that they don't really want to go down so it, it did sound a lot better the second time but that's because it flowed a lot more because the piece is supposed to be that way the piece of music is in six eight time as well so it's got a little bit more of a roll to it da 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 one two three four five six one so it has that kind of that kind of lilt to it anyway so I think what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to chop and change and I'm going to play, I'm going to play it all the way through again. I'm going to play some sections without and some sections with slur and I will put on the description or I'll put on the screen whether I'm playing with or without slurred bowings just so you know. So I'm going to start without. Okay, so that should give you an idea of what that sounds like. So yes, it's supposed to be played with slower bowings anyway because it gives it a lot more of a lilt and it is a lot easier to kind of move into. You'll notice that when it was slurred, I was moving a lot more easily with the bow. But the point I'm trying to make from all this is that when you play everything separate bows, fine and each individual note is played but when you join those notes it sounds the reason why it sounds better is because it's more fluid and it's more cohesive and it's more joined up so if I played a scale in separate bows <laughs> sounds a lot more professional. Why? Because it doesn't sound separated. Add that with the fact that beginners tend to just play a little bit like that as well. That's not being offensive but to beginners. We've all been there and you know a lot of a lot of my students play like that as they're you know as they're learning. When you get better you stop playing like that because you learn better technique. So when you are going you know, your wrist is stopping, your arm is stopping. You know, you're stopping in between the notes rather than making those joined up. Now that's all to do with the wrist as well. And that's part of the lessons that I, I teach as well. But when you are starting out, it sounds a little bit kind of disjunct, one note at a time, which is why it sounds very, very amatory because that is what beginners do. So as soon as you hear that, you think, ah, beginner. However, professionals don't sound that way because if professionals don't play that way, they did once, but then they've moved on. And the key to making it sound more professional is to having those slurred bows. So if you can learn your slurred bowing, guys, you're gonna make your playing go from zero to 100 literally overnight and like I say if you want to know a little bit more more information is in book two uh, page 34 ish I'll put a link directly underneath so thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye